Madam Toastmaster fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests. For the record, I am a huge, huge Weird Al fan. For those of you who may not be familiar with Weird Al Yankovic, he is a person who has made his living writing and performing song parodies of popular music. Weird Al started out writing and singing song parodies in his college dorm bathroom because the acoustics were better than his room. He sent some of his songs to the Dr. Demento radio show and rapidly grew a cult following. Since then, Weird Al has done hundreds of parodies and original comedy songs on 13 studio albums. Almost all of his albums have gone either gold or platinum for sales. I can safely say Al's career has outlived most of the bands and artists he has spoofed. He has affected millions of people's lives with his work, and so it gives me great pleasure to present to you what I have learned from that wild, wacky, wonderful Weird Al. Like a kindergarten student sitting in raptured attention in awe of their first teacher, so I sit in awe of Mr. Yankovic. The first thing Weird Al has taught me is to be wildly passionate about something. Anything, really. It gives you something to work on, something to work towards, and something to daydream about. What got me through many long, boring days at an unfulfilling job was the thought that I was saving to see my hero live. And who knows, if I played my cards right, I might even get to meet him. Which I did. Even if you don't have something in particular to work at in your current passion, at least it gives you something to daydream about during long, boring business meetings where the minutes peel off the wall clock in agonizingly slow, sharp slivers. So, be passionate, if not obsessive, about something. The second thing I have learned from Weird Al is more of a business idea. Find a niche market. That is, find something no one else does and sell it for a profit. Weird Al is almost universally known as the go-to guy for accordion-based song mock-up needs. It is an obscure profession, but it is, done, it is one he has cornered, mastered, and made a lot of money on. And yet, although I would consider accordion-based song parody a very directed and specific thing to try sell, Virtually everyone has a Weird Al album or two of theirs on their computer or in a box of records in their garage. And lastly, probably the most important thing I've learned from Mr. Yankovic is this. Don't take yourself too seriously. Yes, you have to take life, death, and tax returns super seriously, but you don't have to be all serious all the time. Don't be afraid to take yourself, your passions, and your taste in music with a grain of humor. A lot of people get upset, got upset when Al parodied the band Nirvana's song, Smells Like Teen Spirit. Al's lyrics were, weren't particularly mean-spirited, but Nirvana fans claimed he shouldn't mock such a serious song. I say that's half the point. Parody is the sincerest form of flattery. The lead singer of Nirvana, Kurt Cobain, was actually quoted in his journal as saying, Weird Al is a rock genius. And he, he was also quoted in an, a different interview as saying that the band didn't really feel like they'd made it until they had their own Weird Al parody. The Presidents of the United States of America, another band Weird Al has parodied, were so impressed with Al's spoof of one of their songs that they actually got him to direct one of their videos. Not all recording artists take it so well, but the vast majority can see the flattery and take the joke very well. Anyways, I could wax poetic for hours and hours about the vast stores of knowledge I have acquired from Weird Al, such as daring to be stupid, putting all your eggs in one basket, and always quit your day job. But three prominent bits stand out from the from the crowd. Be passionate about what you feel you should be passionate about. Find a niche 
and always, always laugh at yourself.